Gonna have to excuse the mess on the counter. I got a couple of different things going on. This right here is kind of an exciting experiment. This is my sourdough starter that I keep in the refrigerator. And I intentionally did not feed it for a whole entire year. So I just took it out of the refrigerator and took the lid off. It's, it's literally been just about two days shy of 365 days since the last time I fed it. Now what did happen was the f uh, flour had settled down into the lower half. And then this upper part was basically fermented water. It had a strong alcohol smell. But I mixed it up the best I could, and I added two tablespoons of flour to it, and about four tablespoons of water. And I did that earlier today, probably about four hours ago. And I'm going to see if this comes back to life. I did do a taste test of the mixed version. And uh, it, it tastes just like sourdough starter. So, but I'm curious that if sourdough goes a long time, if you can regenerate it fairly quickly. Now, this is actually um, one that I started just for YouTube based off of my over 20 year uh, sourdough that I have. So I still have my other one, but. This one's kind of like my experimental one. Now, I have gone three or four months at a time and not fed my other one, and it always snaps back. Usually not the first feeding, but by the second feeding, it'll start to show bubbles again. So, we'll see how this goes. And I did this because I had a lot of people ask me, like, how long do you, can you go in between feeding it? And, you know, I had one girl who was like, oh, I haven't touched mine in like six months. Do I throw it out? And really... I wouldn't. I would still try to feed it. So um, that's kind of what gave me the idea for this was last year when everybody was making sourdough bread because you couldn't buy bread in the stores and you couldn't find yeast. So I had this spare sourdough that was kind of like my experimental one that I used to show people how to make sourdough with. And uh, so that's kind of what this is based off of was all the questions I got, and we're going to get to the bottom of this. I honestly think it's going to be just fine. So, this morning we got some air bubbles going, so I'll add another couple of tablespoons of flour and a little bit more water, and I think by tomorrow we'll be good. So, this is sourdough starter that has not been fed for 365 days straight it just stayed in my refrigerator the uh, flour separated from the water it fermented but uh, it smells wonderful I have just pulled it out of the bread maker and now I'll let it cool down now you can eat it just the way that it is um, sometimes I like to make like an icing out of powdered sugar and water and uh, I'll bring you back when I slice it. 